And on Libra, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so March, what is in the cards for Libra? All right, guys, so this is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that energy could be uh, transferable. It could be something you're going through or something, you know, with the person around you. All right, so what is going on? Now, guys, I don't expect this to resonate with everybody, so you can check your other signs um, or your other placements, rather, if this doesn't resonate, or you can get a personal reading, okay? All of that is in the description below. All right, so what is going on for my Libras? March 2020. Three of Swords reversed came out. Maybe someone's getting over some sort of disappointment, heartbreak. Maybe someone's being reserved about how they are reserved in expressing how they feel about something. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse. I see someone in a place where they're really taking in, you know, the good energies that are coming for them. Um, now, there could have been something that didn't work for you recently, some sort of fallout, something that you had to remove yourself from or that someone else did. But there's definitely a recovery and there's something that you guys feel very, very good about. OK, uh, there could be some sort of inheritance. There could be some sort of raise, some sort of money coming in. Why is this three of swords reversed? We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Magician reversed. Why is this Eight of Pentacles reversed here? Ace of Cups reversed. Yeah, there's something here where there's manipulation. You have to fall out of something because it wasn't working out. Someone had a difficult time moving away from this, but again, something good comes from it. Something very solid comes from this. Okay. There's definitely reservation in the sense of feeling unstable as you transition uh, through something. But there's a lot to gain from this. Um, there's something that a person just knew. And they doubted it. Or maybe they were just, it's like you were turning a blind eye. You just, you wanted to have a blindfold on for this. You didn't want to see this. You have a nine of pentacles. Um, I see you guys, especially financially, if you've been struggling, um, that's definitely going to change. And if you have not been in a place where you are 100% um, self-sufficient, financially speaking, then that's something that does happen. But you guys have a very honest uh, conversation or interaction with someone or something. Um, and something is revealed that's tough for someone to swallow, whether it's you or someone else. But a lot comes from it. It's just there's someone that was untrustworthy, maybe a third party situation in love. OK, maybe somebody was cheating. Um, and this is with something that may have made a person happy. So there's anger because of that. OK. All right, guys. So this deck I just used is the Wild Tarot Unknown. Um, the next one I'm going to use is Grand Lux Tarot. All right. So what else is going on? I have such small hands. That's why I try not to use this deck so much. Because it's like me against the deck every time. Even though it's my favorite deck. Alright. You guys have the Magician reversed. Yeah, somebody was trying to manipulate something or showing that you're not manifesting something anymore. You're not working towards it anymore. We have the Six of Swords. I'll show you guys these cards in a second because they're gorgeous. Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah, so there is something that a person does have to move away from because there is manipulation. Um, somebody just wasn't being honest. Someone was really trying to play a situation. Um, so you or someone around you is upset because of that, but you actually have something that is unfinished business in your life that helps you to have this pain go away. Maybe you get back with an old lover. Maybe you reunite with a friend you lost touch with, but something that's kind of been in your life, but like it hasn't been a strong point in your life. It comes back into your life. Um, and there's some sort of conversation or some sort of offer that comes from this and it helps you to heal. But you just have to go through this, okay? 
Why is this magician reversed? Fool card. Three of Swords. Yeah, this is something, you know what it is, Libra? This is something that pushes you guys towards like a new beginning. Um, but I feel like it's a beginning that somebody didn't want necessarily or they would just weren't prepared for it at this time. Okay, High Priestess in the Verse. Someone's, you know, doubting. The High Priestess in the Verse came out twice for you guys with this deck and with the last one. Um, there is something, guys, that's making you question your intuition. There's something that you're seeing and it's like you, you don't want to see it. You don't want to feel this. You don't want to know the truth of it. Okay. And again, Page of Swords is coming out again. So you guys, it's, it's, there's going to be a lot of honesty that has to come in. And you find balance with this, you know, change that happens. You have the Four of Wands. So a lot of stability is acquired. But the circumstance or the, the catalyst to the situation is not something that you, I feel, are a fan of or someone around you is a fan of. So it pushes you again towards stability. But maybe the way in which it comes or the you know just the way it comes about um you don't want it to come about in that way we have the death card again judgment reversed so guys with this not only is it going to be something that you need to let go of but you're letting it go for good when something is made with this you know with the judgment card coming out it's a, it's a final decision okay so you guys do find great stability, but it might come in an unfortunate circumstance. Okay. All right. Let me pull you guys some cards of advice and guidance. General advice and guidance for my Libras. Three cards on the ice. All right, we have a page of wands. Are you guys as obsessed with this deck as I am? Oh my God. Like I want to cry when I use this deck sometimes because it's so beautiful. We have the page of coins reversed. It's like... Uh, and uh, Knight of Wands here. A lot of you, there's a lot of fire energy here. So there could be a Leo Aries or Sagittarius specifically involved in this. Um, now, there's there's two parts. There's something that it's like you or someone around you tried so many different ways of getting this to work, of getting it off the ground, but you just couldn't find a solution. Okay. Now something passionate comes out of it, but I feel like, especially at first, um, your mind is kind of just all over the place. Now, what I see specifically for you guys is that you do eventually see something for what it is and and you accept the truth of something, but it shows again that someone from your past, something from your past comes in at a time where you're just very indecisive. You have a high wall up towards them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are just like being a bitch to this person, you know, and, and making it hard for them to like get in. And maybe you're, you know, letting anger out on them that is misdirected. Okay, maybe you're just deflecting on this person. But a lot of you could be like, you know, leave me alone. I'm going to deal with this. Like, I don't need your help. I don't need your advice. But they do help you. You're just kind of reserved towards it because there's something that you're not over. So something from the past does come in a lot to help you guys, okay? I see you guys just putting up some sort of wall just in general, um, even against those who may want to help you. Emperor in the reverse. Strength card. Ah. Oh. Five of coins. So here's what it is, guys. You have a new beginning with something that you couldn't get to work before, but this time around it's different. So it changes things, okay? So there's gonna be something that you're reserved towards and just wanna reject because it's like, we've tried this, it didn't work before, I'm not gonna do this. Whether it's you working for someone, dating somebody, being friends with somebody. Um, 
So it's like you're avoiding that, although it comes in strong and it's actually reliable. And then there's something else, whether it be a new person or something else, where it sounds good and it looks good, but that's actually what can't be trusted. So it's backwards, Libra, this time. It's something that you would assume you can't trust, that you could actually trust this time, and what you assume you could trust is what you can't trust, okay? Wow, so that's why these cards, the high priestess is coming out, because it's like you feel you have every right to feel like you're making the right decision. Um, there's a lot of things, when I leave it in the past, I leave it in the past. Okay, but in this case, you feel as though the wise thing to do is to not do it. Okay, to not go for this. But it's actually something that does work. Okay. Um, it Again, I feel like it comes in at a time where there's something that was out of your control in life or there's something that you could be sad about. Um, so you're reserved because of that. But it's there and it helps you. I'm going to pull three more cards for you guys. This is so interesting. Wow, the air sign readings have been like, have been so interesting. Okay, we have the two of coins, five of wands in reverse. So you're, uh, it's like you're trying to find, um, you're trying to find balance in all of this. You are in a place where you don't want to fight, you don't want to argue, you don't want to get into anything like that. But what you're rejecting is what seems to be the good choice. So this is going to be a time where you guys really have to listen to yourselves because even to the outside world, it might seem like this beautiful thing is the best choice, okay? But it's actually, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? So go towards what didn't work out before, what you could be a little skeptical about, because that's actually coming in strong and the timing is good for it now. Something that looks good is not what's good for you. Okay, I know this is crazy. <laughs> if y'all need a personal reading, I'm here. But um, there's long term in this new thing. You guys are just like, you guys, it's like you want to give someone your peace of mind. Maybe this was like someone who broke your heart or a friend that really pissed you off and now they come back and they're, not only are they apologetic, but they genuinely mean it, guys. They they really, really do. But you're just here like, oh no, I need to tell you how I felt because this shit was crazy. You did this, this, and that to me. This is how it affected me. And I went through all this and I you need to realize that, okay? And they're going to realize it, but you guys, it, it'll work out this time, okay? There's healing here. This is someone that you guys lost before, but they come back in. For a lot of you, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn specifically, but they're back. And they have change, you know, they have a lot of change in mind when it comes to you, and it's positive change. They want to give you um, a new side of them. Beautiful. All right, guys, so if you want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is highvibrations44. And if you guys need a personal reading, all of the information is in the description below. Now, there is a number you guys can text if you need a reading. It is not monitored by me. So if there's anything that doesn't have to do with the new reading, they won't respond. That's something completely separate. Um, I'm hiring different people to do different things. Look at me getting organized. I'm so excited. I love y'all. Bye.